Hi, today we are going to practice creating bar graphs using tables. This can be so much fun. It's a fun way to sort our data and organize our data so it's easy to read. Let's start. Ashley's car computer record records the time it takes her to get to each location. Use the table below to complete the bar graph before I even think about starting. Let's look at the travel time, okay? Gas station, two minutes. Grocery store, 10 minutes. That's what that M stands for, M is minutes. Church is four minutes. Work is 10 minutes and school is three minutes. Now, we can already see our bar graph is generally set up. We have our title, we have our x-axis labeled, gas station, grocery store, the locations, and the values, meaning the minutes for the y-axis. Okay, so gas station. Gas station was how far? Two minutes. So when I want my bar to go up, I want it to go to match up with the line for the two. How about grocery store? Grocery store is 10, so we have to go all the way up to the 10. Does my bar end in line with the 10? Yes. How about church? Church goes to four minutes. So one, two, three, four. Does it line up? It does line up with the four. How about work? Work is another long one. Work is like grocery store. It's another 10 minutes. And last but not least is school. One, two, three, and three lines up with the bar. Let's try another one. Cameron's dog, Rufus, loves to jump in puddles, then walk through the house. Cameron wants a cat instead and documents every time Rufus makes a mess. Use the table to complete the bar graph. Okay, so the title is Rufus Mess Report. He's organizing his data. Okay. On Monday, two messes. Tuesday was lucky with none. Wednesday had one mess. Thursday had none. But look at Friday. Friday had six messes. Rufus, what happened? Okay, let's take this information and put it in our graph. Monday was how many messes? Two. One. Two. Lines up with the two. Tuesday was zero. So I don't need a bar because if I make a bar, it's going to go up to the one and that's not accurate. So it's a zero. Okay, how about Wednesday? Wednesday had one. That bar goes there. How about Thursday? Thursday had zero. And Friday had six. We have to go all the way up to six. Does that line up? It does. Okay. Good job. Next, Zoe has a fitness test every month. The table below shows the number of chin-ups she did each month. Use the table to complete the bar graph. Okay. This should go really well. Okay, so Zoe's chin-up number per month. January was 4. February was 10. March was 4. April was 6. May was 9. So January, how far up does our bar need to go to? To the four. Does it line up? It does. February, she rocked it. What did she get up to in February? All the way up to 10. Does the bar end at 10? Yes. How about March? March, she went up to four. Does it match? Four, four, yes. How about in April? April was six. One, two, three, four, five, six. And it lines up. And May was nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Now here's an interesting thing. It's not 10. It's nine. So how can I get my bar to nine? There we go. It's okay, if you make a mistake, it's easy. You just erase it a little bit. You can bring it down. Good job. 
Ryan is a meteorologist and records the number of lightning strikes that occur in Parkland County. Use the table to complete the bar graph. Monday had seven strikes, Tuesday had 10, Wednesday had four, Thursday had three, Friday had 10. Okay, how many were on Monday? Seven, do we match? Yes, how about Tuesday? Tuesday had a lot, 10. Wednesday had four. And are you making sure that these bars end in line with the four? That's why these little lines are here, to keep thing in line. Wednesday had four, Thursday had three, and Friday was back up to 10. Isn't this a nice visual to see the lightning strikes? It makes a lot of sense and it helps organize the data instead of just in a table. Next, Cameron's dog Rufus loves to jump in puddles then walk through the house. Cameron wants a cat instead and documents every time Rufus makes a mess. Use the table below to complete the bar graph. Okay, this is similar to the other Rufus problem, but I believe the numbers are different. So don't just assume that they're the same. Okay, so Monday was three. Tuesday was one, Wednesday is nine, Thursday was 10, Friday was two. So now let's take that information and let's plug it into the problem, into our chart, our bar graph. Monday was three, one, two, three. Tuesday was just one. Wednesday went all the way up to nine. Thursday was worse, that went up to 10, and Friday was back down to two. Does everything line up with where they should match? Yes, they do, good job. Next, Evan is a meteorologist and records the number of lightning strikes that occur in Parkland County. Use the table below to complete the bar graph. Monday was eight, Tuesday one, Wednesday four, Thursday nine, Friday two. So Monday's bar goes all the way up to eight. Tuesday's bar goes only up to one. Wednesday's goes up to four, good job. Thursday's goes all the way up to nine. And Friday's goes up to two, good job. Let's do another. Jo Joseph dog Rufus loves to jump in puddles and he wants a cat instead and documents every time he makes a mess. Let's use the table to complete the graph. Again, it's Rufus again. He's making messes. Different chart and different bar graph. Here we go. Monday was zero. So do I need a bar? I don't, we don't want a bar for Monday. Tuesday was three, one, two, three. Wednesday was also three, one, two, three. Thursday is four, one, two, three, four, and Friday was two, one, two. So there's Rufus's mess report. Next, Ryan has a fitness test every month. The table below shows the number of chin-ups he did in each month. Use the table to complete. Okay, January was six. So our bar for January needs to go all the way up to six. February was four. So that means February goes up one, two, three, four. March was three. One, two, three. April, he didn't do any. Do we want a bar? No bar. And May was seven. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, there we go. Next, Madison has ribbons of different lengths and records them in a table. Use the table to complete the bar graph. So she has red, green, blue, gold, and silver. Okay, how long is the red ribbon in inches? Three. So we want our red bar to go up to three. One, two, three. She has a lot of green ribbon. She has how many inches? 10, so she's gonna go all the way up to 10. How about blue? Blue has five. 
gold has seven inches and silver also has 10. Now, one other thing I want to bring up with you. Do you see how all of our bars are the same width? They're all the same. They might be different heights, but they're the same width and they're the same space away from each other. That helps keep us nice and organized. Okay, one more. Every time Luke gets caught picking his nose, he gives it and he is given another chore. Gross! The table below shows the number of extra chores Luke has to do. Use the table to complete the bar graph. Oh my gosh, I hope he's washing his hands. Monday, nine chores. So our bar goes all the way up to nine. Tuesday was terrible. How many extra chores? Ten, so our bar has to go all the way up to ten. Wednesday got better. How many on Wednesday? Five. How about on Thursday? Three. And Friday had four. And there is his chore chart. Nice work. Great job on these bar graphs.